Welcome to Chumper Champ. What's the Chumper Champ? Well, that's simple. Would you go to any movie solely based on something in this place, regardless of the quality? Well, you, sir, are a chump. On the other hand, if you'd bring your mom to a movie based on something here because of the quality, well, not only are you a good offspring, but you're a champ. Here, we will watch and review movies based on today's pulp culture to help you determine whether it's a chump or a champ. Come on, mom's buying the popcorn. Welcome to Chumper Champ. I'm Madsen, which is French for sexy. And I'm JB, just straight sexy. And this is... Our movie we're gonna be reviewing is John Carter. It's about a Confederate Civil War hero decorated with everything that a hero should have, and at some point in his life, in search of fortune and fame, he, um, he gets transported to Mars, where he gets caught up in the civil war between two human factions that are in control of the atmosphere and the water of Mars. And throughout the course of the venture, John Carter becomes a hero for Mars. At the end of the movie, Spoiler alert. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Overall, I, I found the characters uninteresting. Um, I, I thought the, the powers that John Carter had in terms of his, his able to leap tall buildings with a single bound and his, his, his strength kind of varied depending on the situation he's in when he's getting attacked by the, the white ape and he's trying to pull out that stake. And he's yanking on and yanking on, he can't do it, but he could have just walked over there and, and just, you know, slid the, the loop off that hook. Did you see that? Yes. You know what I'm talking about? I'm like, they spent a good five minutes of him yanking on a chain, and he could have just went, whoop, there, and out of that business, but no. It, it, it felt so inconsistent about, even when he was having these sword fights with people, they could go toe-to-toe -to -toe -toe with him, when he should have just wiped the floor with him. And, and then I felt it was, just like Transformers, it was hard to tell who were the good guys and who were the bad guys. I'd agree with that 100%. Uh, you know, basically, obviously there's names for the two warring fractions, but basically it was the blue and the red. That's as simple as you can get it because that's the only way you can tell who's who. Overall, I, I thought the story had so many holes and it just seemed like they tried to jam too many things without explaining. Um, early on, John Carter is there to save a princess, a princess who ultimately doesn't want to marry the new evil emperor. I didn't like that because it makes me dislike the princess. Like, she could have saved her country, but she doesn't because she, that's no life for her. I didn't like that, that character because of that. Also, they're looking for this super powerful ninth element or ninth power, which they don't really explain. They don't explain the eight other powers. They don't explain what this power is except a blue light or what it can do. Well, they, they give it to the villain of the movie right off the bat. Right. And it shows that it's able to disintegrate the people, but that was all. It didn't say whether it was, it didn't say if it was, whose hands it was in, what it could do. Right. Because they, the, the princess shows that she's almost able to replicate that energy. And everyone's excited about it. So that must mean it can be used for good, but it's never gone any farther than it's. Correct. It's, no, absolutely, but that's what I mean. Is like the character of John Carter. They try to develop his hum humanity by there's a scene where they start showing flashbacks of him back on Earth and what happened to his family and how that. I'm assuming they're trying to build why he uh, he has his humanity, but also doesn't have his humanity. He doesn't want to get involved, but. The flashback scenes are short and they don't really explain anything. I mean, you understand something happened to his family, but you don't understand why. You don't understand um, basically if it was because of the war or if it was just bad circumstances, which to me, again, doesn't develop the character of John Carter. Doesn't make you like him, doesn't make you feel for him, which overall, this movie is totally lacking. That's the part I didn't like about it. There's nothing in this movie that will make, would make me want to go back to see it again. I mean, even if it's on TV, I would probably flip through this thing quicker than well, water through a first-time Mexican tourist. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I, I don't think I dislike the movie as, as much as you, but it's not a movie I, I would recommend to people. So what do you give it? 
I give it a chump. I too give it a chump. Dude. Dude says if you can shut your brain off, he gives it a champ. Good luck with that. Well, join us next time at Chump or Champ for the Hunger Games. I hope you're hungry. Want to see what I got you today? It's a Mockingjay pen. As long as you have it, nothing bad will happen to you. I promise. Welcome and happy Hunger Games. I just love that. Ladies first. I volunteer! I volunteer as tribute! You're stronger than they are. There's 24 of us, Gail. Only one comes out. No! no. Take care of them, Gail. Whatever you do, don't let them start. Hit the 17, the girl on fire! What did you say? Um, what do you give it? I give it a chump. I also give it a chump. Dude? That was Sorry. That, that, <laughs> yeah, like, that was, that was like, your part. Why is there a dramatic pause here? Oh, yeah, that's me, isn't it? Okay, All right. one more time. <clears throat> so what do you give it?